Hi there, and welcome to the taste test. Today we're gonna taste lemons. Lemon. Lemon flavored snacks. And one that isn't lemon flavored, just because I wanted to try that. First, is, I wanted to try the street corn flavored popcorn that they had at Dollar Tree. So that one's going to be included. We have some Lance. Wait, are they lemon? We have some Lance lemon cream, like um, sandwich cookies, a snack pack. We have some Wiley Wallaby, lemon. Wiley Wallaby <laughs> lemon licorice. Oh, what? Yeah. We have some Wiley Wallaby lemon licorice. Um, the Bonnie, I believe it's pronounced Maimon lemon cookies. These did not come from Dollar Tree. These came from World Market. Everything else came from Dollar Tree. Uh, but these look delicious. They're like lemon tartlets. And then these are European cookies. They're lemon flavored shortbread. Mm. So which one do you want to try first, Craig? I think we got some volunteer. Okay. Do the web, Wiley Wall. Can you say Wiley Wallaby? Wiley Wallaby. <laughs> it's Wiley. A tongue twister. Tongue twister. Wiley Wallaby. Wiley. Lemon licorice. Wallaby. Okay, okay. We get them. And these little, like, short, if you've never had this before, I think they have the best licorice. It's soft and very flavorful, usually. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's not overpowering. A lot mm -hmm. of times the lemon yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Is, I always think of the the Mega Warheads. They used to have those in lemon, and it was like it suck your cheeks in until they touched it over the top. Because it's a, a little tart, which I like. It's not overly sweet. Hmm, let me try another one. <laughs> He's not Good. sure. I've never tried the lemon before. Mm. As most of you know who watch this channel, I love the cinnamon of the white and gold mm -hmm. licorice. What do you think, Craig? Are they good? Mm-hmm. Okay. What can what other candy do they remind you of? Twizzlers. They have lemon Twizzlers? No. So they're yeah, yeah. They do? Mm-hmm. What other lemon I think they do like it's a lemon and something else. Can you think of any other lemon candies? Lemon drops. Mm -hmm. Lemon heads. Lemon mm -hmm. heads. Mm -hmm. Lemon heads. I'd say they kinda remind me of lemon heads in the taste. All right, which one do you want to do next? The Nikot Lance Lemon Cream Sandwich Cookies. Wait, they're lemon flavored? What? Craig, these are lemon flavored. I told you. <laughs> Craig, can you give me one word to describe Dad? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a lot more than one word. Yeah, the day he said handsome, I was just handsome. interested to know if he'd say the same so, thing tonight. Would you call that a running gag or a walking gag? A running gag. And there's this little square sandwich cookies with a scalloped edge. They have no lemon smell whatsoever. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all I smell is like nougat. They're lemon flavored, but it's uh, very subtle. The outside is almost like a shortbread. Mm -hmm. Like it's not real sweet. Does it say it's a shortbread? They remind me more of the 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 animal cookies. That kind of yes. cookie. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like an animal cracker. Kind Cra of cracker. Yeah, they call them animal crackers. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. It's just okay. Mm -hmm. I don't need I don't need much of that. Okay, which one's next, Craig? No, the other one. Which one do you want? Eat. Okay, first we'll try these Bonnie Maiman lemon tartlets. Bonnie Maiman. This is the one that I picked to be the winner. We'll see if it is, just by the looks on the box. And they are like little what size would you say they are? They're bigger than a quarter. Maybe a 50 cent piece size little tartlets. Yeah, you can see kind of a jelly center. There is? Oh, I had it upside down. A, a very faint lemon smell. Mm -hmm. Would you say they have? A faint lemon smell. Ready, Craig? Night! Oh! 
Had it up in here. I had a lemon thing. What do they remind you of? English muffins. English muffins. English muffins. The center really reminds me mm. of a uh, lemon meringue pie. Yeah, those are pretty good. I like those. I'll observe judgment on where they fall. Yeah, you can wait and see. These were definitely the most expensive. Everything was $1.25. Uh, these might have been like almost $5. I can't remember. I know they were up there in price. Next, we're trying the European cookies. And these are lemon flavored shortbread. It says they're delicious and refreshing. I hope, I sure hope they don't have a faint lemon. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give them to dad. Mean it. Uh -oh, oh, these smell a lot like lemon. What do you think, Craig? They smell like lemons to me. Does humming make them taste better? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what are your thoughts on this last cookie, Craig? Wait, which was, which was the, the worst cookie? The worst cookie. I don't know. You well, like first them all? I'm yep. going to ask him what these taste. What do you think these taste like? Lemons. Okay. Shortbread. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. Which cookie is your favorite? Or which snack is your favorite? And Craig likes these sandwich cookies the best. Really? My favorite. So what's your next one? Oh, go ahead. Okay. What's your next one? favorite? These. You didn't like the ones with the with the jam in them. I like the jam with them. You just like these better, right? Which one do you like better, those or the jam cookies? The jam cookies. Okay, which you like? Uh, give me the last him. Give me these. Which one of these two do you like the best? These. Okay. All right. So he likes his, he likes the last. <laughs> he's trying to get my cookie. You know, he's trying to Makes steal my cookie. Makes your offer get to him. So he likes the last. Nikat. Is that how you said that? Yeah, I don't, Nikat, I don't know for sure. Little sandwich cookies. Mm -hmm. Then you like the ones that had a little bit of the lemon. Where did these fall in? Oh, yeah. Let's they, do it. You tell me. Were what, they last? I don't know. What is it? If you had to rate these, like first, second, third, and fourth, which one gets first place? This one. Yeah, yeah. which gets second place? There's one licorice, which gets third place. That's one. And those are last. That's one. Okay. Interestingly enough, <laughs> these are my favorites. I like these a lot. They have the best lemon flavor to me. What I don't like about the tartlet ones is, much like lemon meringue pie often, to me, there's like an eggy <clears throat> aftertaste. And I don't know if everyone else gets that from lemon meringue pie, but I do. And sometimes it just like... It's from the meringue. I just... Top. Well, also there's lemon. You cook the <coughs> the lemon filling, and it has eggs in it too, egg yolks. Mm -hmm. That's why you get a stronger egg taste from a lemon meringue pie. Craig's Sorry, eating. Craig's just grazing off you of the table it. now. So mine, mine would be a little bit different. I like the I like the one with the, the lemon curd or whatever that is on there. Like yeah, I like that the best. In a minute. <laughs> Then I probably like the Lance cookies, the sandwich cookies next. And I like, then I like the licorice. Then I actually, I like these the least. So I'm the only one. I just really like these. I thought these were really good. They're, they're okay, but. They have a really nice they're, lemon flavor. Uh, they're so dry. Mm, it doesn't bother me. They would be good with tea. I think they'd be really, really good with tea. They would not be good with coffee. Yeah, no, not coffee, but citrus, tea would be great. Citrus flavors to me that don't really go with coffee. Although I used to like an orange coffee from where we used to get that mm -hmm. years ago. It was Cafe Orange or something like Cafe that. Cafe La Orange. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't like a milky. Well we used to be into the flavored coffees. No, not anymore. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, but I'd say we have a, a really split decision on which ones we like best. And it's probably just because of preference. So let's try the last thing. Let's try That's that. Sweet corn. Yeah, the street corn popcorn. I love Mexican street corn. 
They have some at Epcot and the booth that also sells margaritas, and I really like that. Take some. And I've also uh, kind of made my own at home before with some Parmesan and some uh, different kinds mm. of seasoning. Very strong weight. Can really taste the corn flavor. <clears throat> I'm gonna beat Craig to it. So, Dad, what do you? What's hey! it taste like? It tastes corny. Mm. Craig, what now, do you? Now you try. What do you think it tastes like, buddy? Spicy. Yeah, Mexican. So spicy. Mm, good. How many did you think of something else to say? I'm having trouble getting the lemon flavor out of my mouth. I don't know. This will make the lemon flavor leave your mouth pretty fast. Mm. It's not the crispest. It's kind of chewy. Yeah. yeah. And well, the expiration date was January 21st, but I still don't think that should make that big of a difference. Here. But it's pretty good. It's pretty spicy. I think I've had better uh, street corn flavored popcorn before, though. Gluten free, though. If you need gluten free. I'm kind of a purist. I like popcorn to be. Melted butter <clears throat> and salt. I like that too, but I like to shake things up a bit and add some Not seasonings. Me. Craig and I both. What kind of what kind of seasoning do we like on our popcorn, Craig? Ranch. Yeah, we like the ranch yeah. seasoning. Um, I have some pizza seasoning that I like on it. Okay. Overall, I probably like the ranch seasoning the best on popcorn, <laughs> but I also love just regular popcorn. I like popcorn seasoning on my popcorn. <laughs> He's just on a roll tonight. I don't know. That's all I want on. It. I worked. So, well, I worked at a theater when I was in high school, and I I made well the second hundreds and hundreds of batches, if not thousands, of popcorn. And I'm somewhat of a connoisseur of making popcorn, <laughs> and this is barely popcorn. Yeah, that's something great. Um, it's the chewy texture that really just. Yes, got a lot going on right now. What are, what are we doing? What's happening tomorrow, Craig? We're going to Florida. No. Well, we're spending the night at the Ramada. Yes, we're spending the night at a hotel, and we're going to eat dinner. We're at, at IHOP. At IHOP. Mm -hmm. We haven't ate at IHOP for a very long time. And then we'll try and get to sleep fairly early because our flight takes off at 6.20 in the morning. We always like to take the early flights. Mm-hmm. The OE so, bird gets the worm. That's right. <laughs> the first night, we won't get there until like 4.20 we land, so we won't get to yeah, our... Yeah, we end up with a long layover in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. We won't get to our condo probably until, I don't know, it could be 6 o'clock by the time we get our luggage. and It just depends on how smooth everything goes. So we'll probably just grab something to eat, unpack, and go to bed. Mm -hmm. And then what are we doing? What are we doing the next day? Do you know? We're going to Epcot yeah. for, for the land grill. Yeah. Land grill. Um, it's called the garden, garden grill, the but garden it's in grill. the land pavilion. You're right. You keep giving me these. So we're having a we're at a busy time getting ready to go right now. We pretty much got our packing wrapped up. I think we've said that before. Now we're just working on getting the house back in order and getting ready to go. Getting pretty ready. exciting. Hand yep. it over, hand it over to Bennett and Haley. Yes, yes. Bennett and Haley will be staying here. The pets will love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they give the Can pets lots of attention. Um, just a second. Let's see. Let's ask you a question of the day. What's the question of the day? Oh, Why do they call oranges orange? Why do they call oranges orange? Because the color orange. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> What have you been watching today? Elemental. Elemental. What's that again? It's Elemental. Oh yeah, that's like one of the last Disney movies that came out, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've been watching anything else? Zenimation. Zenimation? 
-hmm. Are you going to read a book for us tonight? Yes. Do you have one picked out? No. No? Can I go now? Okay, you go pick out a book, okay? All right, and <laughs> not a lot else going on around here, really. Just trying to get ready to go. The girls spent the night last night, um, had a good time with them. We won't be able to see them for a week. That's always kind of sad. Uh, Olivia's sad because she can't go with us. Yeah, she wants to get in a suitcase. <laughs> mm. She really wants to go to Florida and stay in a Florida house. <laughs> Um, but hopefully we'll get to do that uh, before too long. We've been watching a lot of train videos. <laughs> I go through phases and well, I found out that we have enough points on our Amtrak Visa or whatever it is uh, to almost pay for a trip for two roommates. So that makes me motivated to want to watch train videos. Um, we won't be going on an Amtrak trip for probably about a year anyway, but I just like the planning phase. I like to watch the videos and see the different routes, um, kind of leaning toward the California Zephyr, which is said to be the most scenic Amtrak route. Uh, it goes through the Rocky Mountains, has a 10 minute tunnel you go through. You gotta go, you go through Donner, Donner Pass, past Donner Lake, we all know that part of American history. So it's not like we get to see any bones or anything. <laughs> so, I have no idea what Donner Lake is. I don't think Donner, we all know. <laughs> oh, Donner Pass is where the, the Donner Party was going through and they didn't make it through. They had some setbacks. This is, you know, back at the California rush and everything. Like they were on a boat? Or? No, no, no. They were in covered wagons. Oh, okay. And they didn't make it through before the snow hit. Mm. and they couldn't they couldn't get through and they ended up it was a dark part of history that's for sure for them especially that they ended up the only way they were they, they made it is they resorted to cannibalism to make it through the through the winter to where they could I did not resume their trip no doubt so. I enjoy some of the train videos they do tell uh, some of the history of the areas yeah. and I'd like to look up before we go the different stops that we have and um, I did that kind of the last time we took the train and find out. You get to see places that you would never see if you weren't taking the train and that's and I really enjoy that and I enjoy the history. I enjoyed getting to know the people on the train so that's what's been on my mind. <laughs> trains, trains. Um, there's a lot, if you enjoy trains like, if you want to know about Amtrak, there's a lot of good Amtrak videos out there. Um, the best ones, I would say, are Jeb Brooks. He's very professional about it. And what's the other guy? Nate, the younger guy that I like to watch. Oh, He's down, a lot. Downy, Downy Life. Yeah, Downy Life. He does other things beside trains, but I enjoy his videos. He's just very upbeat and fun to watch. Yeah, they're both very pro-train. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. They they looked at trains a little bit through rose colored glasses, but yeah, as, riding the train, it's, yeah, I'll even say it, riding the train is very enjoyable. Oh yeah. I mean, when we rode the train, it was our first time and definitely they romanticize it a bit more than it actually is. Um, it's not a, I would not say riding the train is luxurious, not the Amtrak. I mean, the rooms, even though we had a private room, it's very, they're very small. So you just have to come prepared knowing that. And, yeah, and for, and for three of us, we actually, we had two bedrooms. Yeah, we had to rent we two had, we had, we had them on, rooms. bedrooms are on the same side, but we had the ones that had the, that they adjoined by a, a wall would slide out of the way. Mm -hmm. And... So you could, we had a U-shaped room then basically with like two couches in it, which converted into like two, a little bit, actually a little bigger than twin beds. Yeah. And then they, they had the, the bunks up above and actually that's where this guy ended up. <laughs> it was still cramped, I would say, but not as bad as if you were as just having the roomette will be. Next time we're going to rent two roomettes um, right across from each other because it's substantially cheaper, like half the price of two bedrooms. The two bedrooms the last time ran us 
right around four thousand dollars it was very expensive but it was like a bucket list thing we wanted to do yep. we didn't know if we'd ever do it again and with so. craig we didn't know what to expect so yeah. we wanted to make sure that we had room to where we could all be in the same room together yep. all the time this time we'll probably like take turns sharing spaces well i bet craig will have take one spot one side and we'll oh have yeah another. i'm sure craig will like having his own space because he likes to be in his room a lot. So yeah. I think he'll like having his own space, but yet he'll be right by us where we can see him. And yep. if he gets lonely, he can come over or we can go over there. Yeah. But there's really only room in a roomette for two people. Um, there's not, there's only two places to sit and yeah. very little room to stand otherwise. Yeah, if Nancy and Craig were over there and I stepped over, I could step over and I could get out of the aisle. Right, you could stand in the there. doorway. And, but there's really, there's a little step that you could sit on. I suppose I could probably get sit on it, but you wouldn't want to be there. It's not cushioned or anything. You wouldn't want to be there very long. You can also go to the observation car mm -hmm. and all sit together too. Yep. There's booths and there's mm -hmm. longer right. seats Which you can sit on. We'll probably do more of that this time since yeah, we'll probably try to get in. We there. don't have the bedroom. And you get a chance to meet um, other people that way too. Yeah, if nothing else, like going through the the heart of the Rockies, mm -hmm. you know, for sure you're going to want to go over there try to get in just just before the i think it's just before the moffat tunnel after you come out of the moffat tunnel there's a there's a ski resort just boom and it, you're just like in an entirely different part of the united states when you go through that and then the other side is where you end up getting the the feel for uh soaring around the world or sword around america if you've ever seen any of that at, at epcot and okay. uh, that's that's what i get that feel for like all I hear is the is the music from that. If you never wrote it, you don't know. You have yeah. no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah. But if you've been to Disney, went to Epcot, road soaring, you know exactly. Which, in what my I'm opinion, is about. a must ride. I, I love that ride. It's just it's very relaxing, and they they have like smells in different parts, and it just re really does kind of feel like you're flying over things, hang gliding. I think you're supposed to be like hang. Yeah, gliding. you're on a hang glider. Mm -hmm. But. That's what we've been watching mainly, mostly thanks to me. Uh, I love researching trips and planning trips and figuring out how to get the best price. Uh, I just, that's just a lot of fun to me. We both, I mean, I'm, I'm mostly Dutch. You're like half Dutch, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, we like a deal. Yep, so we'll, <laughs> we'll take a deal and we can get it. Uh, well, it allows you to do more things if yep. you can find a cheaper way to do it. So yep. it's not a really, you can't do Amtrak other than coach cheap, that's for sure. But you can find a way to make it cost less. So that's what I try to do. Craig doesn't know we've been looking at train, <laughs> at taking another train trip, but I think he'll be really excited. On the train... He wasn't so sure. I remember him saying he liked flying better, but then he talks about it all the time about riding the train and going seeing to the, the view and going, going to the dining car. Uh huh. It, the dining car. He liked that experience. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty cool experience. Something that you wouldn't get to. Do. I'd also like to go to Boone and ride that train again because I thought that was a fun experience, and I think Craig really liked that too. So. Uh, that's something we probably could do this year. That's not that expensive, not very far away. So I think with that, though, we better wrap it up. We are going to do another birds and bourbon video, but it's not going to be bourbon this time. One of our viewers was so yeah. kind. Yeah, a while back. Yeah. Over here. Yeah, really yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I ended up getting a, a great care package from one of uh, I can't think of his name right Craig's now. channel, and I ended up I uh, got got an I think it's is it E H Walton? Mm -hmm. I can't remember the I can't remember exactly, but I got got a bottle it's of Junior bourbon. Walton. No, that's, that's not it. Okay, that's his kid. Um, I got a lot. I got a nice bottle of bourbon. Uh, we. We had it on bourbons and birds too. I did a small video of it, trying it out. 
And he was nice enough, man. He sent all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. He sent sent me a T-shirt. Super nice. He sent me a flask. Um, that for sure I'm gonna take on our next train trip. <laughs> yeah, you can bring your own alcohol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I might I might just bring that bottle. You never know, because I can. I don't want to finish it because I can't really I can't get another one around here. You know, and they always look nice on the shelf when you got got other ones. So I I'll probably fill up a flask of it. But I got. Got that. I got. Uh, I got. I got a, a on the rocks glass from the that he got from that place. A pen, and yeah, it was it totally unexpected. You know, I got that. So I'm a bourbon drinker, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try these um, moonshines, these right? moonshines. They've been up there for a while. I kept thinking we'd catch it sometime where Nancy and her sister could uh, try them with uh, Rich and I sometime, but. We're running out of time, and we just gotta. We need. We, we want to get it done. Yeah, we, we want to get them out of the way. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try them. It's a nice. Yeah. We, it's I a nice try gift. Them. So yeah, it is a great gift. And honestly, I've only had the only moonshine I've ever had is um, the moonshine cherries that you had that time, and they were horrible. Oh, those but... were good, man. <laughs> so I'm hoping these taste better than that. It was like those taste cherries, like kerosene. To cherries me. and green alcohol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but these are different flavors, so yeah. I think I saw one was a colada. Pina colada. Yeah, I like pina coladas. So with that, I think we will say goodbye and hope we all be getting this video up soon. So we'll see you in the next video, probably in Florida. Yay. Bye. Peace.